Gracias. Well, it was a bit of an arduous journey to get here, but we are in Lankeen as we're going to be visiting the Semek Champé natural pools later today. Mm -hmm. It was a, what ended up being an 11 hour shuttle yep. from Antigua, um, which took a long old time. Luckily we didn't really get any travel sickness, which is good. No, we took our lovely pills, which worked a charm. Um, and yeah, just listened to music and podcasts. And actually it was quite nice just sitting still for a while. And I made friends with two Jordanian girls and one Israeli guy and spent a couple hours talking about the easy topic of the Middle East um, <laughs> crisis. I put on my noise cancelling headphones. <laughs> yeah, but shout out to those guys. They were, it was a cool conversation, good people. So then we arrived in Lankeen somewhere in the dark. Last, late last night, yeah. Yeah. Um, loads of different tuk-tuk drivers there and people from different hotels who, I think because it was raining, they'd sent drivers to come pick us up, which was very admirable. We met a guy for our hotel. He said, his car has stopped working. Can we go get a tuk-tuk instead? Which is yeah. fine. Um, got to our hotel. It's fine. It is what it is. It's got a lovely pool, though, which is very cool. It does have a really nice pool, yeah. We haven't used it yet. And the room is incredibly basic but it's fine saving money so the reason you come to Lankeen slash this area is to see Semek Champé these beautiful natural falls and this like cave tour this big yep. tour we're doing so we're going to show you that now uh, after a very quick basic room tour <laughs> as always it's going to be I mean it's fabulous be prepared for all types of luxury anyway let's go adventure time <laughs> let's go <laughs> Anyway, so it's time. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the consummate professional. Right, really quick room tour. Bed, bed, shower. <laughs> this is our transport for Saint Champagne, the back of a pickup truck. So we've been dropped off in the middle of nowhere, next to a river. Those people trying to sell us alcohol and water and stuff. Fantastic. Now we're just walking somewhere. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where. <laughs> See how we go. <laughs> That'll be our only light when in the darkness.
It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So we've been here for about five hours. We have gone through some caves. We've come back from some caves. We have gone to a waterfall. We've jumped off the waterfall. We've gone to a swing. We've jumped off a swing. We did tubing. We down the river. We had beers thrown at us, which we drank. We paid off some children. We had some lunch. And now we are finally going to some champagne. So that is what we are doing now. Something sick on video, go on. <laughs> that was something sick, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
in our hostel, had a little swim in the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Gonna have a bit of an editing day to catch up on the many films that we have not edited yet. <laughs> Thought we'd share a few of our thoughts and observations about Samuk Shampi and the mm -hmm. area. So we're actually not in Samuk Shampi. Samuk Shampi is the actual pools themselves. Yeah. We are in the town of Lankin, which is not far away. So basically around here, it's only hostels. Um, there aren't really hotels, uh, but all the hostels offer their own tours, so it's really easy. You just rock up um, and they'll sort it out for you. Ours was a little under like £20 per person, so mm. really good for the whole day. So you start at 9am and you come back at about 5 And it was really fun. There was loads of things included. You don't just go and see Sermon Champagne, the pools. Mm. Um, so you'll probably see from the vi video we had, first of all, the cave tour with the candles going through the cave. If you feel like you are claustrophobic, maybe don't go. <laughs> Steph kind of found out that she is actually quite claustrophobic throughout in the middle of the tour in the darkness <laughs> when she wasn't quite enjoying it so much, but I thought it was really fun and very It eventually. was very cool. I'm a bit gutted that we didn't get to properly finish that cave part because the water was actually so much, because there was so much rain. Mm. Um, it was actually blowing out the candles. You couldn't go through this area we're going to. So that was a bit disappointing, but mm -hmm. still beautiful, really cool experience. We then go out of the caves and go to the big rope swing, yes. which you very much enjoyed. As so always, much fun. Steph is very good at, at <laughs> Steph is very good at random sports <laughs> and activities. So she was incredible at coming off feel, the rope swing. I feel like I should be a trapeze artist. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you do the rope swing into the river, um, and that was really really fun. And then you go further along, and you can jump off some rocks into the river again. A, there was a lot of just jumping into water, yeah. which is always I'm fun. I'm sure you saw from the videos, it's just pure jumping into water. Oh, that's really fun. Yeah. And they went tubing back down the river. Um, which is also some, included. Which is also included in this tour. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the kids throwing beers at us, making friends with the locals, and then you know, paying them for their services. There was a, a floating tubing beer salesman yeah, as well who got onto a tube <laughs> and went... Offered us those beers. <laughs> this is so funny. Very fun. Amazing. We basically did that and then went for lunch with those same salespeople trying to sell us drinks and stuff. Mm -hmm. But a nice little buffet. <laughs> yeah, lunch wasn't... In, that's the only thing that's not included, but it was only about 50 quetzals each. Yeah. So five pounds um, and it was yeah actually really nice it yeah, wasn't bad at all mm. after lunch then we finally actually got to Samuk Champagne so despite the thing the Samuk Champagne tour we didn't get there until the afternoon you do like a, a small hike up some really steep stairs um, to see the viewpoint onto the pools first so Which that's is beautiful like, yeah amazing view from the top it's almost a shame we can spend there longer there actually that's like mm. the view that everyone wants to see over the different colored pools as they move down yeah um, Quite a tough hike, actually. I mean, not long, but it's just long. quite steep, lots of stairs. Yeah. Um, then went down and got to basically swim through each of the pools. Our guide took us through a secret underground cave area as well. It was just all very fun. Would have liked a bit longer maybe there, but it was beautiful. We also had the the weather change to be completely torrential downpour and rain. Mm. But that was really cool. It yeah. just added another dimension to what was a really cool experience overall. Yeah. Right, let me get the camera. I think <laughs> it's so far away. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is probably a bit easier to see us now. Um, the second thing is like, the area of Lankeen is very beautiful. I mean, the drive here from Antigua was 10 to 11 hours. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel that bad. Um, and as I kind of said before, it was a beautiful view throughout. And now that we're here, um, I had a little explore with the drone as well. It is just gorgeous kind of countryside, if you can call it that. Yeah. Um, really, really beautiful, very different from the um, the highlands that we were at in the south with the volcanoes. It's now much more jungly, it's much hotter, much more tropical. Mm -hmm. Very pretty greenery all around, isn't it? Yeah. Um, in terms of Lankeen itself, it's definitely, you don't stay in the village, all the hostels are kind of on the outskirts or right by Samuk Shampi, and it's geared towards tourists come here for Samuk Shampi and that's it. So 
it's definitely a very well trodden tourist path to do the tour and nothing else mm -hmm. really yeah um so we're actually gonna try and venture into town for lunch yeah. um which is a bit of a walk. Most most hostels, you just eat all three meals there. So, overall, final thoughts of Samic Champi. Bearing in mind that um, a lot of, I think, a lot of people will say this is the best thing to go to in Guatemala. Our feelings are, it is amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just prefer volcanoes. Yeah, I, I don't think, think a Catanango can be topped in terms of the best things to see in Guatemala, but yeah. I think we're saying, like, is it worth doing? Absolutely, but Providing I, pres I think you're going through mm. to go see Tikal and Flores in the north, it's definitely like you, you've got to come here. It's yeah. a long time, it's a long journey to get here. So if you're on a short itinerary, then you could miss it out. But yeah, yeah it's one but of those if you like jumping into water, you don't, shouldn't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's key. So yeah, so much champagne, a pleasure. What a wonderful place. Um, and our cool little hostel and pool, delightful. Mm -hmm. See you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!